Hey guys, it's Kugli come with another warm review and this time I've got the Resurrection Remix by Eliminator called the Black Mix version for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, I have been doing a lot of Resurrection Remix ROM mainly because I like it. Uh, it has a lot of features and I am a slob when it comes to feature rich ROMs and this is one of my favorite ROMs. It does have a lot of things to like about it. So let's get started now. First of all, it does have a lot more stuff than the official version. This is unofficial decidedly. So yeah, let's get to the settings and see what all we got in the about phone page. Now first of all, I'm not using the stock fund. The stock fund is the stock USB or lineage fund. So uh, I'm using Oswald fund which comes with pitch black theme. Uh, I'm using the 8.8 version and today morning another version was released which is 9.8.2017 version and that is today's date. So yeah, I have been using this since uh, 7th release. There's nothing much going on. The only changes which I could see according to a developer was that the white light of death that has been solved. I personally have not uh, had any issues with that so I didn't really find it really important to include this. With that out of the way let's get to the settings and in the about phone page you can see that is the Aurora OS version. It is unofficial. It is 4 1 plus 3. It is 7.1.2. It does include the August patches so that is the one uh, new thing. It is 5.8.4 that does have a few extra options in there. The kernel is called the Eliminators 15 which is the latest version I guess. Uh, it's it's a modified version of Elemental X kernel so that does work out really well. It does come with uh, SNS status enabled so that is there. Now these are two options which is available. Verified boot status is disabled and anti-theft protection status is disabled. Now for the life of me I couldn't understand what that is but that is that seems to be a new thing with Restriction Remix 5.8.4 so not really sure about that. Now the features. You have probably seen a ton of Resurrection Remix reviews and uh, features are almost the same. A few things extra which is which is added here are in the button stuff it does have an accidental touch thing which is from PA that is panel handle and also pocket detection which is enabled. That's a few things which is enabled here and a lot more uh, bug fixes and all that. Nothing special going on with the features but again Resurrection Remix is the king of uh, features when it comes to it. So I'm gonna give it uh, 8 out of 10 for features. So yeah, if you want to see more ab about these features, go check out my video on all the features on a Resurrection Remix ROM. I have did a dedicated video on that. You can check that out. Almost the same features, so nothing special going on there. Battery life and uh, to be honest, battery life is not the forte of this ROM. As you can see, the active drain is about 18% for me on the long haul and the idle drain was about 1.9%. It in no way good by any standard, but for a ROM with all these features going in the background, you shouldn't expect much battery life unless it is sultanized version or it runs EAS. It doesn't run EAS as far as I can say. So yeah, this is what you get. Nothing special going on with the battery life. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 for battery life. Now the performance of the ROM. Uh, Intuitive Benchmark score gave me about 139,000 and that's about the average. 140,000 is the average which I got. It's not bad but it's nothing special either so I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for performance. Now the stability of the ROM. Everything works decently. I never had any issues with uh, anything in particular. One thing is that uh, fingerprint scanner just sometimes doesn't work. Uh, I do have double tap enabled but I don't think that should be a cause of issue for the fingerprint scanner not to work because I do that in a lot of my ROMs. I You do that in almost every ROM which I review and uh, this one was pretty adamantly not willing to take my fingerprint. So I got to deduct a few points for that. Apart from that, stability wise, it's pretty good. I didn't really have any issues with that. So I'm still gonna give it a six out of 10 because it is normally what I expect from a ROM like this one. So yeah. Now the camera, it comes with the camera O2 which is the new version of the Oxygen OS camera which is available for custom ROMs. It does have HDR auto so that does work out really well. It does take photographs uh, most of the time so that's one issue which I did find with this one. Sometimes it just doesn't take a photograph with this one with all of these options enabled. If you have raw shooting enabled if you disable that 
it's back to great things. Uh, it just works out really well. So I don't really mind a lot of that. Having that raw option does cause a little bit of issues. Apart from that, the photos are really good. Uh, the photos which is taken with Auto HDR and HQ, it just works out really well. As I've said, it just works really well. It also has the uh, lineage camera, which is also pretty cool to have. Uh, it has HDR support. It has all that uh, things which you would get with this. It does work out and it does have HAL switcher and uh, I really like that feature of it so you will have all the applications running you won't really have any issues with that so I like that still I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 just because it has an option which does not work and basically takes away stuff from you so that just means it's not fully prepared yet so I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for camera just because of that one option which is available there which kind of screwed it up. Now the aesthetics of it, as you would think, it's just a normal ROM. It does come with Substratum. I have been using Substratum. It does work out really well, but that doesn't really make it anything special. So 6 out of 10 for aesthetic. Now the overall experience. Personally, everything works on this ROM. I never had any issues except for the fingerprint scanner not working sometimes. And that can get really annoying really fast. That's the main problem I had with this. Uh, I did expect it to be fixed. Right now it's working perfectly. I'm not really sure why. With the 7.8 2017 version, it was really bad. I'm not really sure if they fixed something in the 8.8 8 2017 version, but it seems to be better. It might be a placebo effect, but for me, that issue is still persistent and I just cannot overlook that so I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for overall experience. So you have probably seen the boot animation for Resurrection Remix. Nothing special. It's the three prongs going around and around and Resurrection Remix logo and yeah if you have seen one you've seen all. Let's just give it a total then. The total score maths out to be about 6.14 it's not a bad score. It's better than average. The only problem, as I've already said, is the stability, which is kind of sad. I really want this to have much more stable base. The developers are working on it, so I'm pretty sure that will be fixed soon. But right now, it's not. So that's one thing. And the camera, I mean, yeah, it's kind of unfair that there is an option and that caused it to have a little bit of less functionality. But it works for the most part, so don't worry about this too much. Apart from that, everything just works. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM then. I hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you find it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.